Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is the middle of summer where I live. It has been so hot. We've been getting like 90 degree days, which I know for some of you, you experience that regularly, which I don't know how you do it. And during the summertime, it gets even hotter where you live. So if it's really warm where you live, what are your go-to sweat-proof, heat-proof products? I would love to know because for me, I do switch up my makeup seasonally as well as just my entire beauty routine. So as the seasons change, I'll usually reach for different products. So today I want to share all of my summer beauty staples. So I have makeup products, skincare, hair care, fragrance, all kinds of things that I'm excited to share with you. I have a bunch of new products that I definitely think are worth checking out as well as some older staples I continue to use every single season. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I do want to say thank you to Beauty Pie for sponsoring this portion of today's video and continuing to work with me on my channel. I love Beauty Pie. I've been blown away by the quality. I first tried the brand last fall. A Beauty Pie membership is a game changer. I pay for my own membership and I love it. I've ordered so many products that I've just fallen in love with. Beauty Pie really is a one-stop shop for all things beauty related. They have makeup and skincare. They also have hair products, fragrance. For $59, you get access to all of their products and a really great price points. And I do have a coupon code. So if you use the code Andrea sent me, you could actually get $10 off your annual membership or $10 off your first purchase if you just want to try a specific product. So in today's video, I wanted to share four of my favorite Beauty Pie products for summer in case you're looking for some recommendations. So when I think of summer, I always think of bronzer. Bronzer is definitely one of my summer makeup staples. I recently tried this formula from Beauty Pie and I love it so, so much. First of all, this comes in a refillable compact, which is amazing. So the compact itself is really beautiful. And then the bronzer itself can just be popped right in there. And then when you're done with it, you can replace it. You can actually order a bronzer refill for $15 which is really nice because bronzer is something that I do hit pan on and actually use up consistently. Not only do I love the refillable packaging, but the actual bronzer formula is so nice. My main issue with a lot of powder bronzers is that they can kind of look patchy or uneven on the skin, and that is not the case with this one. This one is incredibly smooth, super buttery. It blends like a dream on the skin but it also stays in place really, really well, even on the hottest days. I'll apply this in the morning, and then at the end of the night when I go to wash my makeup off, it's still in place, and it still looks really, really good. I originally purchased the Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil months ago. I wanna say back in the winter time because I asked you guys for your Beauty Pie recommendations, and a lot of you guys said that you love this formula, and if you watch my channel, you know that I'm a big lip oil fan. This is the best formula. It's kind of like a cross between a lip oil and a lip gloss. It is so hydrating, incredibly shiny. So I have the color Shimmy. I'm actually almost out of this one. I wear this one all the time. It is a clear lip oil, but because it has a ton of shimmer in it, it looks so pretty on the lips and it's just so glossy, so hydrating. They recently came out with two new shades for summertime and I cannot get enough of them. The first one is Naked Peach which really is just like the most perfect peachy pink shade, great for everyday wear. So in the swatches, I'm actually just wearing them on their own, but today I am wearing this one. This one is the color Sun Haze on top of a nude lip liner. I just love this formula so much. It feels like a high-end formula, but it's under $10 with a Beauty Pie membership. So I definitely recommend trying these if you haven't already. And thank you to you guys who recommended them to me because I love them so much. Obviously, I have to share an SPF with you guys. SPF is important every single day, no matter what time of the year it is, but especially during the summertime when inevitably a lot of us are spending more time outside. This is the Beauty Pie Ultralight Daily SPF 30. I picked this up a few months ago and I really like it. It's a mineral sunscreen and it feels really smooth on the skin. It doesn't clog my pores or irritate my skin. And sometimes when it comes to SPFs, if it's really hot outside, I feel like the product will kind of melt and it will get into my eyes, it will burn them, it will be so uncomfortable. That's not the case with this one. I haven't experienced that at all. It wears really nicely throughout the day and I also love how makeup applies on top because this is a really smoothing formula and it also gives your skin just a really pretty glow. The last Beauty Pie product I wanted to share with you guys is this one. It's called the Perfect Waterproof Mascara. Every summer I purchase a waterproof mascara. It's not something that I will always wear like throughout the year, but during the summertime, I'll either be at the pool or the beach, or it will just be extremely hot outside. So I like to have a waterproof mascara on hand, and I really like this formula because 
First of all, it does not move. It doesn't matter if you're swimming. It doesn't matter if, again, it's 90 degrees outside. This product stays in place all day long. But it also adds a lot of drama. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, and I feel like you can really build this formula up. I am a fan of really dramatic lashes, so that's why I enjoy this one, because you can go in with a natural coat just to really separate them or build it up quite a bit and it does not move all day long. So if you're looking for a long lasting waterproof mascara, this is the one to try. So make sure to link these products in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Beauty Pie honestly makes so many good products. I love their skincare and their makeup. They have so many great options. And they're always coming out with something new. So I'll put a link in the description to the annual membership. But don't forget, you can use my code Andrea sent me to get $10 off. So thanks again to Beauty Pie for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Another one of my staple products this summer would definitely be the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes. These are so gorgeous. I've talked about these a lot on my channel, but honestly, I reach for these so, so much. In addition to bronzer, I feel like blush really is one of my favorite products for the summer especially lately and I love this formula because it's really lightweight so it's very very comfortable it looks great on its own or if you're wearing it on top of foundation or on top of powder and I like the luminous version because it just gives your cheeks a really beautiful glow I just got this shade this is the shade that I'm wearing today Belize and I think it's such a perfect color for summertime especially to pair with really warm eyeshadows it's like a peachy pinky coral it's a little bit softer a little more subtle but it just adds a really nice glow to the skin so definitely check these out if you haven't already I think they are so much fun if you are a fan of really bold blush there is a color I've really been enjoying persona cosmetics has the most gorgeous bright bubblegum pink blush that I think is so much fun I saw this going viral on TikTok, and honestly I was a little bit intimidated by it but I do find that it gives your cheeks like a really bright appearance that I think is perfect for the summertime so you can go in with a little bit and sheer it out or you can really build it up I'll do two swatches for you guys one a little bit softer one a little more intense this is actually a new formula it is the blush multi stick which you can use on the lips on the cheeks it's very creamy super blendable so it's really easy to work with and like I said if you are a little bit intimidated by this color you can sheer it out to look a little bit softer on the skin but I think it's such a fun option for summertime just because it's a little bit brighter than something I typically wear they also have this shade in their super blush formula which is a powder so if you're not the biggest fan of creams or you know you just prefer a powder overall this is a really great option too and again it is a buildable formula, so you can do something a little softer or a little more intense, and I just love it. I feel like it makes your entire face look really bright and awake and really fresh and pretty, so I've been enjoying it. It's something a little bit unique to my collection, but definitely a fun option for summer. Over the last few years, I have been enjoying more of a subtle highlighter overall, and honestly, there are days where I'll just skip highlighter altogether, but there's something about a really intense, glowy highlighter during the summertime that I love. I think it's just because I'm outside more and in general, my skin looks kind of dewy, whether it is intentional or due to the fact that it's super hot and I'm sweating a little bit. So adding like a really intense highlighter on top, I think just looks so, so pretty. So I've really been enjoying this formula. It's from Catrice. It is the More Than Glow Highlighter, and I have two shades. So I have the shade Supreme Rose Beam, which I've actually had for a little while. It is a beautiful kind of like silvery pink. Today I'm wearing the shade Beyond Golden Glow, which I just love because during the summer, I usually do reach for a really warm toned eyeshadow. So I feel like a bright yellowy gold highlighter is so perfect. And these look really nice as eyeshadow as well. I love placing them in the inner corner all over the lid. But if you guys want a really intense highlighter, these are so much fun. I think they look really, really pretty. When it comes to eyeshadow, I'll either go one of two ways. I'll pretty much skip it and just take bronzer and blend that into the crease, or I'll go in with really intense, warm eyeshadows and create kind of like a golden or copper smoky eye. I love warm orangey reds. I love yellow golds. And I have been reaching for some older palettes like Urban Decay's Naked Heat, the Natasha Denona Bronze, ColourPop's Nude Mood, but there are two newer ColourPop palettes that I've been using a ton this summer. I've been wearing this palette so much. I've been wearing it in a lot of my videos because whenever I wear a palette, I link it in the description box and I feel like I've linked this in all of my July videos, but I can't get enough of it. It's in the springs and it comes with a bunch of beautiful colors. So you get neutral browns, you also get some warm oranges, and then you get some blues as well. For reference, I am wearing this on my eyes today, so I'm wearing the shade Sizzlin as a transition color, and then I have the shade Palms Away in the crease, the shade Chino in the outer corner, 
And then on the lid, I have Private Event, Hot Tub, and Prick Me. I kind of combined all three of them. I feel like one of the reasons why I love this palette so much is because I've really been enjoying like a pop of blue on the lower lash line. And this just makes it really easy because the shadows are very smooth, super easy to work with. There's no patchiness. There's really nothing bad about this palette. And then if I do wanna add a pop of color, I just take one of the blue shades, either a matte or a shimmer, and just blend it on the lower lash line and I'm good to go. So you might have colors like this in your collection, but if you're looking for a fun summertime palette, this is a really good option. The formula is really nice. Sometimes there are a couple of shadows in ColourPop palettes that might not perform the best. I think in general, they tend to be pretty consistent, but I just find that this one is very blendable, really smooth, and it's great if you're in a hurry, but also if you have a little more time to do something a little more dramatic or a little more intricate. I've also really been enjoying this palette. First of all, I love the packaging. I think it's so gorgeous, but it is the Get and Fresh palette. This one is a mainly neutral eyeshadow palette, but you do get a few pops of orange and then a few pops of green as well. So again, kind of like what I've been doing with this palette, I'll do a mainly neutral look and then add a pop of green on the lower lash line or the inner corner. And I just feel like it's a fun way to add some color back into my makeup routine without going all out. I really think that this is just such a fun palette for summertime. If you are a fan of ColourPop's mega palettes, they have so many to choose from at this point, but I do think that this one has a few more unique shades compared to one of like their typical neutral palettes. So I've been using this one quite a bit, but I think out of the two, In the Springs is probably my favorite, but Get and Fresh does have a lot of great options too. My number one brow product for the summertime is the NYX Thick It Stick It. Now I've loved this ever since they launched it. I wanna say back in the winter, early spring. I'm someone who likes to apply my makeup in the morning and then be good to go all day long. Other than maybe reapplying my lip product and then maybe going in with translucent powder, I don't want to touch anything else. I don't want to have to reapply my bronzer or my blush or my brow products. And this locks my brows into place all day long. My skin is extremely oily. Even my brows can tend to look really oily. But this product makes them look so good. They do not move. They do not budge. And on days when I'm just not feeling like a full face of makeup, I'll still take this and run it through my brows because it makes an instant difference. It's such a long wearing brow product and I just think it is a great option for a summertime. Not only because it stays in place well, but because it's quick and easy to work with. So if you're doing like 10 minute makeup, this really does make such a difference in just a few seconds. When it comes to my complexion, I'll either go in with a long wearing foundation like the Catrice True Skin Foundation, which is what I'm wearing today, or I'll skip foundation and just spot conceal and set it with powder. Either way, there are two powders that I love during the summer, and these have been favorites of mine for years, like probably over four years at this point. The first one, let me start with this one. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is something that I really only reach for during the summertime because it locks your makeup into place all day long, and I just find that I don't typically need something so heavy duty during the spring or the fall or the winter, but during the summertime, I usually hit pan on this because it makes such a difference. If you do your makeup and set it into place with this product, your makeup will not move even on the hottest summer day. It really is like a waterproof setting powder. I don't know how they do it. It doesn't look powdery on the skin. It doesn't look heavy or cakey but it locks your makeup into place. And if you use this with like a gripping primer and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, you will be good to go for like 24 hours if that's something you want to do. I always use this or I always recommend it to someone who has like a wedding on a really hot summer day because I think it looks gorgeous. I don't experience any flashback and it just looks really smooth on the skin too. Another powder that I reach for more so like day to day is this one from Essence. This looks terrible. I don't know what it is about this packaging, but every single time I use this powder, the packaging breaks on me. We did travel and we went out of town and honestly, I didn't pack my makeup super well and I feel like that's when it broke on me, but it's fine. I think it's like a $4 product and I feel like the actual powder rarely shatters, it's just the packaging. But you guys, this is the most mattifying powder I've ever tried. It will lock your makeup into place, again, all day long. Now the difference between this and the Urban Decay powder is that this looks a little bit powdery on the skin. It also claims to be translucent, but I feel like you experience a little bit of a white cast, and if you're taking photos, I wouldn't really recommend picking this one up, but if you're just going throughout your day, or you need something to touch up, or you don't mind like a little bit of a powdery powder, 
it's four dollars and the urban decay one is maybe like 35 so that's why i wanted to recommend this one as well i go through these again every single summer i usually go through these throughout the year as well but i didn't use this one as much during the spring because i was reaching for something a little more lightweight but this is a true mattifying powder like your makeup will not move your skin will not get oily although my skin is starting to look a little bit oily probably because it's like 90 degrees in here. I don't have an air conditioner or anything like that. But even still, I do think it just locks my makeup into place and the makeup or the foundation underneath won't move or run when I use this. I wanted to share this product with you guys. This is from Say. It is the Super Glowy, or no, the Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. So I got this in a Sephora favorite set and I feel like there's a lot of product in here. I do think they have a mini for sale and then a full size version, but I think the mini really is sufficient because it's not something I use every single day, but it looks so pretty on the skin. This is the type of product you can use in a couple of different ways. You can use it as a glowy primer, you can use it as a liquid illuminator to mix in with your foundation or your skincare, or you can use it as a liquid highlighter. I love using this as a glowy primer after I do my skincare and apply SPF because it just makes my skin look so glowy and really healthy and radiant, but it's not overly glowy like sometimes when it comes to liquid highlighters i feel like it makes my skin look unnaturally shiny this adds the perfect amount of glow without making my skin feel greasy i just love it so much that's the way that i've mainly been using it but i know you can mix it in with other products as well and i love it everything that i've tried from say has been really really great next i want to try their liquid bronzer but that's been out of stock so once i get my hands on that i'll let you guys know what i think but i think this is beautiful they also have a I think like a deeper golden shade as well, but Star Glow works really well for my skin tone. Let's talk about a few hair products. I recently tried this Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Miracle Hair Elixir, and this is magic in a bottle. I've tried a lot of hair oils throughout the years, and I feel like in general, they all kind of feel the same, they do the same things, but this one is the most nourishing product I've ever tried. I use this on a day that I use like an exfoliating shampoo and then I also use the hair mask and then I use this product and my hair looked like it was brand new. I don't even know how to explain it. It cut down on all the frizz. It instantly hydrated my hair. It looked refreshed. It looked, what did I say? Did I say that right? It looked refreshed. It looked boosted. It looked like I just came back from the salon, all due to a hair oil. I don't know how it did it, but it did. And I am so impressed by this product. A little bit goes an extremely long way. You don't need a ton of this by any means, but I just felt like it detangled, it hydrated, it made my skin... It made my hair look so smooth and I just love it. If you can't tell, I'm excited about it. I'm so excited that I'm messing up all my words. But it really is an effective product and I think it makes such a difference. Now, I do think it probably has a tendency to weigh down the hair a little bit because I do have wavy, like slightly curly hair and usually after I wash it and let my hair air dry, it just kind of like bounces up and I have a lot of volume. But that day, it kind of like straightened it out. So I do think it will weigh your hair down a little bit. So if you're planning on styling your hair or you want some volume, don't, well, either use a very small amount of this or maybe skip it that day. But if you're looking to infuse your hair with moisture, you will love it. I've really been enjoying this shampoo and conditioner from Garnier. This is the Sleek and Shine Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. These are meant for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, and they're supposed to keep your hair looking smooth for three days. I actually think this products or these products work really, really well to keep my hair looking super smooth. I used to use this formula years ago, and then Garnier went cruelty-free... I want to say kind of recently, maybe like a year ago, and I've been using a lot of their products lately, and this makes such a difference. If you have really frizzy hair like me, like my hair is wavy, it used to be curly, and then I, I just straightened it and I heat styled it all the time. So when I do want to let my hair air dry and kind of embrace my natural waves, sometimes they look a little bit frizzy because I feel like I don't usually style my hair that way. The humidity just kind of messes with my hair as a whole as well. So I love using this formula because when I use it and let my hair air dry, I feel like it just cuts down on frizz. It makes my hair look really shiny, feel super soft and look a lot more hydrated overall. And I do think the results last for three days. Like if you don't wash your hair the next day, it still looks really, really smooth. I wouldn't use this product on a day when I'm curling my hair because when I do use this, I feel like my hair almost straightens itself out and the curls will fall out faster. 
But on days when I'm letting my hair air dry, it's perfect because I get my natural waves, but it cuts down on frizziness and just makes my hair look really, really smooth. And then again, on days when I'm straightening my hair, which doesn't happen too often, it's really nice because it locks that straight hairstyle into place and the humidity won't cause my hair to curl up. So I love this formula, especially for humid, hot days. There are a ton of skincare products I could share with you guys in today's video, but I feel like we would be here forever. So I just wanted to share one of my favorite moisturizers. I was using a mattifying moisturizer last summer, but this summer I've been enjoying this one. It's the Holy Hydration Hydrogel Moisturizer from e.l.f. The reason why I like this one is because it's kind of like a gel cream, but it's super lightweight. Some gel cream moisturizers can be extremely dewy, which is totally fine, but I feel like this one... Even though it is incredibly hydrating, it doesn't leave my skin feeling or looking overly dewy. And because I'll use like a glowy SPF or a glowy primer, I don't necessarily love to go in with a really intense glowy moisturizer all the time. But even if you have oily skin, it's still extremely important to apply moisturizer because it can kind of balance out that oiliness. And I feel like that's what this product does. So I really enjoy it. It's something that I use pretty much all year round, but I've been using it a lot this summer and I feel like it's almost more effective at keeping my skin from getting too oily than a mattifying moisturizer. And honestly, I just like the look of hydrated skin these days. Even if I end up looking a little bit oily, I feel like that's perfectly fine because I don't always want my skin to look super, super matte. Because I do go in with mattifying makeup products, sometimes it's nice to have more hydrating skincare so my skin can feel and just essentially be more hydrated. Okay, I just wanted to share a couple of fragrances I've really been enjoying with you guys. So the first one is from Good Chemistry. I really like their perfumes. You can find Good Chemistry at Target. And I think I've tried pretty much all of their scents, but my favorite one right now for the summer is Tiger Lily. This one has notes of orange flower, vanilla, and amber. So it's such a cozy, warm fragrance that I feel like works really well for the summertime. I like to use this one during the day, but also at night and I just think it is a really great option. I also love these two fragrances from Nest. So I got this set of Nest mini fragrances during the Sephora VIB spring sale. And it came with like six or seven little roller balls, which is perfect because I've been able to try out a bunch of different scents. So the two that I love the most for the summertime are these. The first one is Citrine. This really has been like my go-to daily fragrance. It is incredibly citrusy. It has notes of lemon blossom, lotus flower, and freesia. If you like really citrus, very floral fragrances, I think you'll like this one. It almost smells like a lemon but again, it has like a touch of floral. It's not something I thought I would love. It's pretty intense, so a little bit goes a long way. But I just think it's really fresh, really fun for summer. And then this is one that I'll tend to wear at night a little bit more often. It's funny because when I first tried this, I didn't love it, but it's really grown on me. It is Sunkissed Hibiscus. This one has notes of frangipani, orange blossom, and golden amber. Again, it's like a very warm, summery fragrance. I feel like it kind of gives off a similar vibe to Good Chemistry Tiger Lily, but Good Chemistry Tiger Lily is more of like a day fragrance for me, and this is more of like a summer date night fragrance. It's super warm, really floral, and really, really good. So I've been enjoying these a lot lately. Okay, guys, that is everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Those are all of my summertime beauty essentials. Honestly, there are more that I could talk about, but we would be here all day. So I'll probably do a separate video on my July favorites and include some in that video as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thanks to Beauty Pie for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check it out. The annual membership as well as the products I mentioned. And you can use my code Andrea sent me to get $10 off your membership or your first purchase. But I really appreciate you watching and being here. I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.